Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are watching this video for the first time, subscribe my channel so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get immediate notification. And please click the bell icon. Okay, today we are going to learn about basic lifting precautions. Okay, what are the safety precautions we need to take for lifting operation, especially if you are working as a HSC officer in a construction, then you have to know about these precautions. Okay. So first, what do you have to check? You have to check the permit to work. You have to check whether that particular lifting operation and the particular crane is allowed to do lifting operation in the particular area. So you have to check the permit to work. Okay. And also the risk assessment, method statement and the lifting plan. And what is lifting plan? This lifting plan is developed by this lifting supervisor. It should comprise of what is the exact weight of the load and how to lift it safely, what is the different boom angle that are used to lift the load. Okay, So it should be attached with the permit. Second one, you have to check the inspection certificates for the crane and its lifting accessories. So when it comes to lifting inspection certificates, you have to check monthly color code or monthly certificate for the crane and the lifting accessories. Second one, you have to check the daily inspection checklist. It has to be signed by the operator and you have to check it whether it is available or not. Next one, third party inspection certificate. You have to check that TPA, third party inspection certificate. It is a statutory requirement. Most of the country and most of the company requires this TPA, third party inspection certificate. Okay, you have to check, make sure whether they have the whether the crane and its lifting accessories has monthly color code, daily inspection checklist and TPA. Okay, fine. Next, you have to check the competent persons, availability of competent person. Who are the available competent person? A trained operator, competent operator, he should be certified, he should have a valid license. And rigor, rigor is one, one who gives signal to the operator and, and he is the one who secure the load properly okay and the lifting supervisor you should supervise the lifting activity next one check the area you have to make sure the area is whether the area is safe to perform lifting operation or not how you can make sure first the overhead power line you have to check the safe distance from the overhead power line maintain at least 10 feet distance from the power line if it is a 50 kV power line it is as per OSHA standard okay if it is a 50 kV power line then you have to maintain at least 10 feet distance from the overhead power line it is a OSHA standard second one safe distance from excavation if there is any excavation ensure that you are positioning your crane outrigger 1.5 times the depth calculate the depth of the excavation for example if it is a 1 meter then you have to keep your outrigger 1.5 meter away from the edge of the excavation okay and if it is a 2 meter then you have to keep 3 meter distance from the edge of the excavation safe distance from the excavations next one stability ensure that the crane is kept stable how you can make sure the crane is stable ensure that the outrigger is stable even and kept on a firm surface the surface should be firm it should not be loose okay Next one, safe workload. Ensure that the safe workload is always greater than the load. Do not overload above the SWL. Okay, it should be always greater than the load. Your load should not be greater than the SWL. It should be always less than the SWL. Second one, IATS. Proper instruction, information, training and supervision must be available for the lifting operations. And proper training should be given for the lifting crew. Next one, load chart. A load chart must be available within the crane and the operator must be aware of this load chart. Okay, what is load chart? This load chart is it is used to identify the capacity of the crane, lifting capacity of the crane in different boom angles, boom radius and boom length. You, uh, because at different angles, the capacity of the crane varies. For example, uh, if you are... Extending the boom angle lot, then its capacity will go down. Okay, so you have to make sure you have to check the load chart whether the load chart is available or not, and the operator must be very much aware about the load chart given by the manufacturer. Okay, 
and and these are the things once these things are okay then you have to fix the barriers once these things are okay then you have to check the barriers and signs fix the barriers okay keep the barriers and sign these barriers are signs used to avoid the entry of people into the lifting area only the lifting crew must be available within the lifting area then check the weather condition there should not be any rainfall there should be a clear visibility there should not be any sandstorm so there should be clear weather condition and especially the wind speed you should not allow lifting operation if the wind speed is above 32 km per hour it is as per osha standard if it is above 32 km per hour then you should not allow the lifting operation and if you are using a man basket and to use a, used to if you are using crane to lift any person then the wind speed should be less than 25 km per hour so okay weather condition is okay now you can start the lifting operations make sure you are holding the load using tagline tagline must be used to hold the load and make sure the center of gravity cfg the center of gravity of the load can be just using the tagline you can use the tagline and hold the load do not touch the suspended load okay unless and until if it is required for any installation purpose then you can touch the load and make sure the load is below your uh, chest region or below your abdomen region okay so use the tagline to hold the load do not touch the load and do not lift the load above person lift the load as much as closer to the ground okay so these are the precautions you have to take for the lifting operation and you have to aware of certain terms in the lifting operations okay uh, pass. okay you must be aware of this safety factor what is safety factor is the minimum breaking strength divided by a safety factor for example you can see this one in the lifting accessories like slings you can see this one safety factor 5 is to 1 which means for example if the sling is used to lift one ton it is tested for five ton okay and if it is uh, if the sling capacity is two ton then it is tested for ten ton okay five times the rated load on the lifting accessories okay so you have to be aware of the safety factor in some countries it is five is to one in certain countries it is seven is to one and if you are using to lift any uh, critical lifting then it can be up to ten is to one okay what is critical lifting so these are the certain lifting that will be classified as critical lifting okay it comes under critical lifting first one tandem lifting what is tandem lifting if you are using two crane for lifting operations for example if you are lifting any heavy equipment or huge equipment then you have to use two crane that is known as tandem lifting second one if you are lifting any load above 75 percentage of the rated load capacity of the crane then it comes under critical lifting third one lifting of personal if you are used you using the crane to lift any person using man basket then it comes under critical lifting then you have to take different precautions okay next one load suspension above rigging person if you are lifting the load above the rigging persons then it comes under critical lifting and blind lift if the op what is blind lift if the operator cannot see the load if the load is not visible to the operator he can lift the load only by the uh, by the direction of the rigger then it is known as blind lift next one load that have potential for becoming unstable during the lifting if there is any chance for the load to become unstable if it is an unstable load then it comes under critical lifting if there is critical lifting then you have to take different precautions you need a, a certified uh, rigor with different grade levels you need a, uh, lifting supervisors and competent persons must be there a well prepared lifting plan must be available okay so these are the precautions you have to take for lifting operation so if these precautions are available you can do the lifting in a safe manner okay Okay, thanks for watching. These are the precautions for lifting safety. If you like this video, subscribe the channel and get the immediate notifications. Thank you.